What's up, guys? Good morning. Happy Friday. Hope you guys have a good day. I just woke up. I feel like I can't talk right now. But today is a big day because um, I'm working on legs with Chris Hall, my lovely counselor. I mentioned it in the last video, and um, I'm just super excited. I, I woke up super early, get ready. Now, let me just ch get changed real quick. Push me through the Yo, today I want to talk about cutting and bulking. So at our school, um, sometimes people come up to me and ask me, Ron, should I, you know, cut or should I bulk? Which one is harder? Which one is easier? In my opinion, um, they are about the same of um, same level of difficulty, but they are uh, they are uneasy in different ways. I do think um, if your body fat percentage is not um, the best, like if it's over 15%, I would say maybe the first step to take is to shed down some fat. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people say I even mentioned it in like my last year video. I said, oh, it's the best best period of time to grow as a teen there's no problem with that but if um if you're if you can't even master cutting yet then uh, i don't think it's a wise idea to just jump right into a, a bulking so i personally don't think that cutting is um it's like unattainable unapproachable uh, anybody can starve themselves and lose a bunch of weight, uh, but it's hard to do it with moderation and to do it with, uh, you know, a controlled manner. And that's why it's hard. And also simply because when once you cut down calorie to lose weight, um, you will feel really low in energy and you don't want to do anything. And especially for students, it just it's it's a very difficult task to. Um, to do because we still have school works and as for bulking it's also quite tricky because it just it takes even more time to gain lean muscle mass I doubt anybody would want to gain um, uh, to gain weight but 50% of them is just pure fat nobody wants that and you know, a lot. Of, I hear a lot of people say, "Oh man, my metabolism is so fast that like, I eat just whatever I can eat, so that I don't lose that much weight." But that just them. Maybe like there's five percent of the population that are like that that can do that. Um, that, but that that's not you simply. So, like I said before, find the right path for you. Should you lose weight? Should you, you know, gain some muscle mass? Lean muscle mass. So if you're bulking, then it's very important to keep in mind that the goal is a long-term goal. I'd rather everybody do slow bulk and um, sh uh, minimize the amount of time that you spend after your bulk to cut than to do a dirty bulk and spend a lot more time cutting afterward. Get anything that you do in the gym or just in life gen in general should be gravitated toward your goal, toward something that you want to achieve. So whatever it is, if you're an athlete, then train for that sport, you know. But also enjoy the process. If you are a just a normal high school student, then if you want to be healthier, be stronger, then go do that and eat well, sleep well. Today, like I said last time, it's gonna be my leg day. I'm gonna try to max out today see where my squad is at um, so I think after that I'm pretty much um, gassed out so we'll see if I want to do some core um, some core stuff or just call it a day or you know do some other hypertrophy so we'll see I'll show you guys uh, the workout and hope you guys enjoy it if you if you find it helpful, please smash that like button and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah. What's up, Chris? What's How are you doing? doing? Good? How's your sleep? Oh, it wasn't too bad. Yeah? Yeah. Should have gotten more of it, but 
That's what happened when you made the video. What's your uh, what's your program today? Today? Yeah. Uh, I think it's leg day today. Yeah. Do you try squats, leg press? Nice. You yeah. So I think the force, the force is that I'll probably try two plates okay. and then see. Just warming up and one thing that I realized working with Chris is that I'm always one place behind and now he is putting on four plays <laughs> which means I'm three plays behind but it's just how it is just how life is sometimes yeah and that's uh, that's your first working set correct yeah that's my first work set all right yeah like you can't find anybody here on campus that does this so like always surround yourself with people who live heavier than you who live better than you and yeah let's get it Come on, Chris, let's get it. Yep. Lightweight. Nice. So 
even for squatting, if you're maxing out, it's okay to cheat a little bit and have a spotter, but still, like, keep the good form. Um, if you really feel like that you're struggling and the weight starts to feel like it's super heavy, just drop it or ask the spotter to help you. Don't keep a bad form and injure yourself. Chris, so like, how 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 do one increase um, their strength, or or when they're cutting, how do they do that? Yeah. So I mean, if you want to get stronger, you gotta eat big. But if you want to get stronger and then lose weight, you gotta eat big, but a little bit less big. Yeah. What's up guys, workout really went really smoothly. I maxed my squat, I feel so blessed. <coughs> squat one rep max, high bar is one and 275 pounds for me. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to Chris that I can get it up eventually. Chris is working on some bench. I'm, nope. not gonna, I'm not gonna bench at all today because I still have class in the afternoon. <laughs> I wanna save some energy for class. It's probably um, the best. Yeah, just gonna roll my muscle, take a shower, get something to eat, and you know, get ready for the day. If you like it, like I said in the beginning of the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.